Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode I would like to do some Weisenberg um, airship upgrades. But first of all, I'm going to just whiz back to my bees and just have a look at how that last uh, crossbreeding went. We did one. And I'll also have a show you something I did. I was being a bit daft last episode. Anyway, never mind. Let's have a look at this. So the bees are over here. I was have a look at that crossbred one. One thing I did was a bit daft. Is I probably I was using the crafting to show, show the um, the generations of how they they get up to being imperial industrious, but it would have been easier in a chest, wouldn't it? Now the only bee I didn't explain was the valiant drone. If you have a look at the recipe for that, you'll see it actually appears in most of the hives. The only one it doesn't appear in is a modest hive. So it's got a it's got a chance of one percent drops in in these hives basically i think it's probably the same drop rate in all of them well it's slightly higher in this one and you can put a fortune on your thing but it seems to be going down if you put fortune on these things for example here we've got uh, tropical princess i don't know what should tell you the percentages actually it nearly always does so fortune three gets less than fortune no fortune at all it's strange isn't it anyway i noticed that i thought i'd just mention it so that crossbreeding was over here. I probably should bring that nearer to the bay, shouldn't I? It was this one. So we got three bees out of it. Two, this, two identical ones and two different ones. So let's analyse these. Hopefully I've got my analyzer with me. Of course I'm getting read in now because I'm near the imperial bees. So this is a cross between a hybrid between a forest and the meadows. And you'll see that this meadows has actually got a, a three. A plus, well, actually, it's the uh, the inactive side's got three. Which so that's interesting. So this one here probably is a is a cross between a meadows and a forest. Same same hybrids like this, and this is the same one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this one and I'm going to breed that with a meadows princess, and hopefully that will get a better one. Now this is my this is my sort of cleaning. Um, area so all the bees in here will be completely cleaned out. That's what they're all the same, you see. There will be they've basically been processed uh, over and over again and just giving me well, actually, they give me a little bit of stuff, but not much. But what they do give me is that I can clean a bee. So, for example, if I wanted to take this Meadows Queen here and turn that into being a an industrious bee, all I would do is put a stack of industrious drones in there and this weight and over time you would get into here a mix like this one I think I had some cultivated it was a cross between cultivated and meadows so this you can see here you've got one of one of a sorted this should sort in actually they sort by number a bit weird they don't sort by type probably change the rules for that somehow sometime so we'll see how that's done so that's basically not been very good this time so I'll put those tell you what to do we'll another chest might even have one on me, I do, yes. Where did that come from? Oh, I know where it came from, yes. The bees got picked off the picked off, didn't they? And let's put those into there as the first generation. Do it like this. Yes, I think they were just going around here, so instead of going I picked them off the conveyor belt. So we got some more of these. Just double check the these are fine at the moment and go and check this one as well. As I said before, we need so you've got a lot of industrious princesses, they're drones at the moment, stacks and stacks, and each one of those will easily give me another industrious drone. So let's just put those in the dripping co the cones into here, the dripping cones into here, and then the two bits, if we've still got space, that is, into here because they're filling up nicely. And the other thing I didn't show you was this thing. This, I don't know how to pronounce it actually. <laughs> it's quite a trial, something like that. And this is just a game. What you do is you basically get put things in like you try to match up the bees, and they're always completely random. You put a bee in, and you right click it like that, and you actually left click them. And after a while, if it's a bit of luck, you'll get one that actually gives you a prize. So some of the prizes I've got from the I'll just leave that in there actually. Some of the prizes from that I've got in this chest here, and these are these notes so you can simply read the notes and it tells you what you gives you it increases your chances of things so i get 
So if I cultivate it with a tropical gazelle, it increases my chance of that by about 5%, I think. The next one, forest with a wintry makes a common, and then a, co a common with a cultivated makes a noble. So if you did not have JEI, which is a big if, because you always have JEI, and then you basically got through all of these different ones here, sinister in that to make a fe cultivated to make a finished <laughs> finished let's read that one that one's already memorized the information we should put that one back so that saves a bit of space in there so you just play this game and it's obviously quite difficult with a cultivated drone because you've got an extra two um books to open with a normal mundane bin you only get the six and just keep going clicking the same ones and you'll get it eventually but what it does do is it increases the, the cross breeding chance I think it increases about 50% of what it is already. Something like that. Anyway, so today, let's get on with my Weisenberg airship. Now, where are the bits and pieces for that? Take it in here. Yes, I've got an airship here. I, I'm probably going to change this one to be an infinite fuel one because, to be honest with you, yeah, I need automated redstone. That's the same automated redstone, isn't it? Yes. What I was going to do, and one of the reasons I didn't do it earlier, is because after the change to um, pollutions of the realm, where it starts to move around and underneath it, it converts the blocks to either lots of grass or flowers or to pod sill, uh, you can see the sky's gone clear because it's basically converted everything it's done in this area. And since I'm not producing any more emitters, um, I've got no more emitters here that it's not producing any more pollution uh even in the um in the forestry i've put i've moved this as you can see i've moved this away now in fact, i probably should break this down i moved the um the small tree to over by the forestry i don't think i showed you that but we'll, we'll do that another time so now well, let's have a look at this thing here we want to upgrade this um i think i have to put it down first of all Sh shift right click isn't it yeah that's my ship and then we need to upgrade it. So let's have a look at what we can do for upgrades on that one. In fact, probably supposed to start with the book as well. The book's always useful. So shift left click it, and then you can, I think you can, can move to this and then right click it. No, shift right click it. There you go, and it selects the book. It should select the book. Sometimes it does select the books. Oh yes, so if I, it tells me which books. Shift right click to change. So I'll shift right click it now I've got the wise book but so when you're looking at an item it, when it's basically shift left click it and you're looking at an item so that's the granite at the feed the beast wiki granite blocks you can't do it any of that one but on some of them you can so for example it tells you where you're getting it from well, this was a good one here electrician's manual for engineer's manual so that that one this is all we want anyway so let's have a look at this after a bit of lag so now we need the upgrade system so we have to make these upgrades. So let's have a look at this then. So if I press E and now I want to be, I want to, I don't want to, that was last time, wasn't it? Here we go. And you'll see that we've got all of these different bits and pieces, which are upgrades. And it's, it's sort of expensive, this thing, and you have to go through it step by step. So, for example, this is a core upgrade for tier two. Now, what I would like to do is to give it infinite fuel because it uses quite a lot of fuel and less the fuel efficiency, less the infinite fuel efficiency. So we could make this one. And we've basically it's ender pearls, blaze rod, gas tier, nether quartz, weighted pressure plates, two iron, and module chip. So that's a chip with a logic processor. So we need for that. Two emeralds, which is actually the most expensive bit, I think. Well, I suppose gas tiers are fairly rare as well. And gas do spawn in my little um, roof bit, as it were. So I've got eight gas tiers, so we can afford one of those, can't we? We needed some ender pearls. We need a couple of emeralds. And we've got the chips already. I think we've got these. Yes, we've got 25 of those. We'll put those in there. Like that. So that's those two. What else did we need? I think I've forgotten already. So it's this one. Another, okay, a pressure plate and some nether quartz. Is it night time already? 
I'm going to have to go to sleep because it's it's getting towards winter and it's going to get cold. Actually, it's going to get cold, but my things, but my climatization over there is on, so I'm not going to get too cold. So we can carry on a bit. It's light enough to see, isn't it? Yeah. Um, how many talks so much? I've forgotten what I wanted. Uh, da da da. I'm going to have to look it up again. Sorry, I do apologise. <laughs> Oh, no, of course, wasn't it? Yes. So let's do that over here where it belongs. So we should be able to now click this onto here and then what we're we missing. Oh, blaze rod. Oh, we can. Good. That's, e that's also got plenty of blaze rods from my nether farm. Uh, or bashing, beating them up last time. So that was fairly really good. Now the thing with this thing is it's actually a bit slow when you put it, it's already slow enough as it is, so let's have a look at this one. So it reduces, the, decreases the speed without by 90%, great. <laughs> so that would be perfect for um, go flying around. Another upgrade I would like to do is I'd like to do a height upgrade as well. Now I've got to take it up to at least level 2 I think, so that'll be the balloon here. The balloon for, for height upgrades. So we've got the core, that's no problem. Airship balloon, that's no big deal. We can do that one easily enough. So let's make an airship balloon. We need four of these things here. Balloon remance, renance. I probably can do that, I'd bump my heart. just one and get gold. Gold looks a bit low, but it's actually not too bad. We've got 94 over there. So that's three stacks isn't it of gold ingots so that's not too bad and I can also smelt all that armor I've been repairing haven't I so that's not such a, bad, a big deal so we need f some of these oh wrong one this one I think we need four of these and it, this recipe makes four which is convenient it uses quite a lot of leather and then we should be able to make the balloon upgrade yeah we can and that's a level one upgrade now let's read the book a bit about the upgrade system Now, it does it tell us much about it. So the upgrade system is a way for the players to enhance their base, their base airship stats. Currently, there are four types of upgrades, core, frame, engine, and balloon. The following pages describe how to upgrade each of the... Each upgrade affects your airships. Please note, you cannot skip right to the tiers. You have to go from one to the next. Yeah, that's, we've talked about that already. So the next page. So we need to upgrade the core. This is the, affects the maximum redstone. Um, I'm actually not 100% sure what that's, why I need redstone. In oh, I think I do now. I think it's slightly broken, actually. I think you to put the things in, you need a certain level of redstone. Um, so you have to upgrade the core. So we might have to do that anyway. So the next one is the frame. So the, create, the frame affects the speed, the base air speed. The speed. I'll speak, can I? So, and um, then we need these frame casing things like this. Everything needs these um, chips here. So, the next one along is the engine. So, the engine will pre increase the fuel efficiency. Well, now we've got infinite fuel. Probably doesn't matter that much. Next one is the balloon. Now, this affects the basic. What does it tell you? The airship's max altitude. Um, and we need these balloon remnants which we've already made so that's fine so that's it so let's go and put these into the airship i think if we can so you're right now i could remember the key for the GUI. i think it might be g no i think i reprogrammed this one i've forgotten what it was I'll tell you what i'll come back in a second when i figured it out oh it's the m key because i reprogrammed it here so here we do our upgrades so what we it tells us in here it should tell us if we try to put this one in here so this is the oh maybe that's customizations so here's the, this one if i shift click this into that it should take me to the blue one it doesn't shift click it in so i can't i oh, yeah. put it in there then you press the green button and that should upgrade it like that so does it tell me about the stats of the balloon customize module that's it so this is where you get the, the redstone cost of modules i think this is what it's all about 
If we put this one in here, can I put it in? Ah, uh, maybe I have to put it in here and then press learn. Let it fly without feel great. Okay. And I think you can take it out as well, but I think if you click on it, I'm not sure I to take it out, to be honest with you, but I'm pretty sure you can. So the next thing we got, and this affects the cost of this, so I'm not sure where it tells me about that, to be honest with you. A redstone. I need to put some redstone into this thing, and its cost is 15. So it's going to get 15 redstone. Press shift to get out and go the right way. Take a stack of redstone. Get back in again. It press M and put and I put some redstone into this. So if you just click this into redstone and apply, you'll only take 50 because that's the amount of redstone that we've got. So we're left with a 14. So to increase that available in redstone, then we have to um, upgrade the core. But I'm not quite sure where it gets used. I've got to be honest with you. So see this one's now fly without fuel. Oh, yes. Ah, I see. So we're flying without fuel. And now we should be able to go up a bit higher than we could do before. Of course, it's night time, so that's great. <laughs> Maybe I should have a sleep and come back down again. So, oh yeah, there it tells me. Max is 100. Max height is telling me in the top, beside the fuel. Which is uh, great. So let's go down again. Press X to go down again smoking and I can't see what it's doing so maybe better to do this in the daytime and fly down slowly I suppose I should increase the speed a bit but Gosh, it's going to take forever isn't it ah oh, there we go we can see again oh I think that's just my breath that's smoking there <laughs> I thought it was the airship <laughs> never mind yes because it's Hold. There we go. Let's get out of that. Can I get out of it? Press shift and get out of it. There we go. In fact, it's still running, and I think it'll run forever, won't it? Because it's got a little smoky bit there. In fact, let's just get in it and turn it off. If I can figure out how to turn it off, that is. <laughs> because that used darker, that is 15 redstone. Oh, yes, here it tells me. Redstone 50, speed 0, fuel, okay, good. Do you know, I don't know how to turn it off. Ha! There's a, there's, a, there's a challenge for me. I'll figure that out. Let's have a look at that. Let's go and have a look at the controls for that one in that case. <laughs> so I think I'll have to go back to options and go back to controls and go right down the bottom here. We find the airship. Here we go. Open the airship GUI, which I changed to M, and the rest of them are move forward, backwards, drop, bomb, ascend, descend. No, there's nothing there. Okay, maybe it just runs forever. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, let's go and make the next upgrade for this while it's running. And the second one I want is to get the height up to a bit more, so we need a second height. So we need to make a second balloon one. This time we're using iron, it's a gold instead of iron, I think. What was the last one? Yes, so it's exactly the same recipe, we just some gold. So what we need then is another balloon. Hopefully we've got enough leather in here. I didn't really think about that, to be honest with you. Let's give that a sort and see how much leather I've got. 51. Yeah, that should be alright for now. <laughs> Am I? Do you know, I'm getting hot. I'm going to turn this thing off. Right click it and just change its season really. So now we want the uh, balloon upgrade. So let's do the balloon upgrade. So we need one of these again, like that. We need three pieces of gold. I'll take all three. But it's probably better, while well, I'm going to need some more gold, let's go and just take a stack of that and go and put that into the grinder and let it start processing. I'll get some extra copper that way anyway. I think this thing doesn't mind so much about having snow on it. Uh, unfortunately, in most of engineering, conveyor belts do. So if you've got snow on, they'll drop us, get the item stuck there. So, all right, let's have a look. So we need the second balloon upgrade. So we need, first of all, 
these things. Have I got that already? No, I need that one. So now we should be able to make the second one of these. So let's get into here now. M for them, M GUI, and then I should be able to go back to upgrade and then shift click this one into here. Oh, no, it doesn't shift click, it doesn't work. And click space. So now I can get up to a height of 125, which is actually good because that's the height of the pollution. The pollution stops at around about 118, 125 maybe even. So we can actually go up and have a look at that. But we might as well have a look at it. I'll have a I don't like the airship going dark when it gets up there, probably because I'm in the way. Of course, we're going to go very slowly, so I'm pressing W as well. I like that. Well, it says 90% of the speed is reduced, so are we going to go past that thing? So we do go up and we do fly incredibly slowly. Because to upgrade that more then I'd have to go and upgrade the, the layers and the, the tiers. Oops, oops, that's not very good. <laughs> Let's just go down a bit. <laughs> do you know? I didn't know you could do that. Well they are something new for us. Still flying away from that. What height are we at? 118. Let's go up a bit more. Now I should be able past it this time. I should be able to go round and see. Now we've reached our max area. So this was the bit of area I was using to for getting rid of the pollution. Actually, I need to be facing it, don't I? Let's go around. Probably can't go. I can fly through trees, that's good. Yes, I might have to upgrade the speed of this because it's phenomenally slow. <laughs> so let's go down again and do that. Now there's no quick way of doing this. What I'll do is I'll just have a pause and come back when I'm down on the ground. Right, on the ground. I'm going to get out quickly because it oops, don't want to be in water. I'm already freezing. Look at this. Of course it's coming up to midwinter now. Let's go back and turn this on again. What's, what's its strength? Five. So it's got a reasonably high... It's getting reasonably cold. So here's my airship. So we we'll need to upgrade. There is actually one more important upgrade I'd like to do. Fortunately, these don't seem to cost any money, so or any redstone. I think we we'll probably better upgrade the core. So we need some of these core shards and an airship core, which seems to be actually that's layer two, it's a little bit level two. So it'll be iron instead of gold for that one. Then you can see that the next one's going to be diamonds, then we're going to get emeralds, and finally we get another stars. Oh no, ender puzzle, that's easy. No shortage of those. But one of these needed ender pearls, can't remember which. Uh, another stars, I mean. So that needed a two. Uh, that's. Yeah, okay. So each one of these goes up, and you need the, the previous one to go up to the next one. So I think that's how you do the cores, but you've got to have make more of these ones. It's fairly expensive, in fact. So right, let's go on. So I would like to make the boat airship frame. Now I want to make the one that allows you to land on water. Obviously at the speed we're going at the moment is it's not very good. And the trouble, where is the water? It's not going to get me anywhere at all. Core upgrade, I can't see it for engine upgrades. Um, where is it? one of these things so allows you to land on water in fact oh you see that this tiered as well of course because you've got multiple tiers so you can land on water so this one lesser altitude altitude so this one's okay what's this one then do oh these are modules okay so they tend to be the ones which are expensive and this one what's it do this one is a basic grade Okay, so this one upgrades the speed, the base of this machine. So it allows the max altitude to be increased to 255 straight away. But of course that's going to cost redstone. Same with speed here. Uh, and storage, we've got storage. And what have we got here? Less of fuel efficiency. Less of music, well, I'm not too bothered about. Less of cruise control. So this is a base upgrade. Airship can auto forward. Oh, that's quite quite nice. You can let your finger off the button. 
That's the water landing. This is the one we need. Ender pearl, uh, not ender pearls. Slime balls, no problem at all. Boats, no problem at all. We can probably make one of these, no problem at all. So let's do that. Any cost of this is emeralds. Let's, emeralds are still reasonably rare. I've got 19 here. But I have to go and find them. And I think I've got some ore in. I've got 32 ore in here, so I can break that with my luck three pickaxe and hopefully we'll get another stack or something like that anyway for the time being i need two of these crafted up with these these logic chips will give us the module chips i forgot what the recipe of those actually i don't think they're too expensive now so that's those two so now we want this one of the lesser music lesser water landing that's the one so what are we missing out of this one we'll be missing some slime balls of compass and um, compass is fairly straightforward one redstone four pieces of iron of course i don't i don't know what i mean apple four but i think that's the compass recipe yep slime balls i'm either going from freezing to cooking at the moment it's ridiculous a couple of slime balls i've got a double chest full of slime balls downstairs so i'm going to, have to turn this off again what we should do is to put in one of those air conditioners there might be more sensible than to but i just use 100 rf per tick when it's in use or up to 100 rf per tick when it's in use so maybe that's not such a great idea so what else do we need Another quartz boat and another iron plate. That we can do fairly straightforwardly. I think any sort of boat will do. And I've got, I've got a boat up here. Let's take that one. Two another quartz. I should be able to then just do that straight away. If I can remember which one it is, what am I missing? Nothing good. I can just make this one and that means we can land on water without the airship blowing up because if you do if you do not have that then you, the airship will blow up so this is a module so we have to go to modules we flick it into the system and then we learn that one and the cost is going to be ah let's send it off at last so that's up that can land on water and they go it seems to go into the right place costs nothing what costs nothing Okay. Don't ask me why that doesn't fall. So now we've got 35 redstone available. How can I've got no fuel? I'll probably have to click the button again, do I? To get it again. To start to dip again. Okay. Infinite fuel and no fuel. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I think the cost of this is 15. So each one of these is 15. So I've now got 30. Yes, I think that's how it works. Let's apply that. Right, I got 49 and to the 50 now. So let's get out of this one and land in the water, and it's freezing, which is great. <laughs> it's coming up. To, it's coming up towards midwinter. When it is midwinter, what I'm going to do is so that white one there is about uh, five to twelve, or so to speak, which basically means it's get. I know it's about 11 o'clock, isn't it? So it's about when it gets to 12, it gets really cold, and I'm just going to do a bit more AFK fishing. See so if I get some more nice in chance while I'm doing that so I wanted to upgrade the core didn't I so I need one of these so what I'm missing up two diamonds gold and a magna block I've got I think we've got some of those. I'm not sure we've got any of those here probably not they're easy enough to make anyway slime balls blaze powder and put four in a row oops take one of those out of that of course this is also useful for making um the heating coils in fact it's, i might be doing that anyway because i need another heating coil because one of the things i'm going to be doing is i'm going to go and while well, i've been playing looking at the ocean monument conquering the ocean monument so i took a summer oh, i took two never mind so let's get this thing built i've got right gold uh, should we have some gold by now? Let's go and look in the chest. It's snowing, which means I'm going to get wet, which means I'm going to get cold very quickly. Yes, we've got plenty of gold. Got two stacks. 
totally processed. I can't believe it. Because I'm not running the solar panels at the moment. It's just getting from the wind turbine, I think. Now it's got now it's got wings. It can do it, can't it? So let's try that one again. So I wanted to do the airship go and bars, don't I? I'll keep some bars in here. I think I need about four bars. I'll just take four like that. So now, so the core upgrade is this one. So we need four of these, and there'll be one. Right, I'm missing three pieces of glass. Glass is in here, isn't it? Oh, I'm keeping things in strange places, I know. Um, we don't have any uh, excellent storage systems in this pack, so we have to do it the old fashioned way, which is actually quite fun. I prefer it anyway. So we wanted this one, don't we? We want four of those. Okay, good. So I can simply make the core. Well, I need to make the core one upgrade first as well, don't I? And that will then increase the redstone points on this thing. So let's get in this again. Press M to get the menu back up again. Upgrade. And then we can put shift click this into here like this. And then click the green button. And now we've got this. So if we now look at redstone, it's now gone up to 100 redstone. So I guess you get 50 per upgrade, which then allows you to expand the, sh the airship. Well, I'm still landing in that. Now when I break this, I think you'd have to hit it with that. That's like that. You get a different, so. Well now look at this, it's now got a white cross on it. And that, when it before it was black. So as you can see, that this tells you I've got an uh, upgraded airship of with a core level of one, I think. Yes, a tier one. So that increases the. Oh, it tells me the the other bits and pieces which have increased. So the altitude's increased by seventy five by the looks of it. Oh no, no, maybe that's wrong. I don't think that as all of the information we've got in here. Shift right click to throw. The, okay, yeah, that tells me what we need to do. We know that already. So it's only showing with this. I think this I think the mods changed a bit since the previous time. So we can then break the airship, carry it to where we want to go, and then we go and fly high. So it will need some speed upgrades, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to... Well, I'm not going to do those on camera, am I? So it, it doesn't some, doesn't really make sense to go through all of these upgrades on camera. This is bombing, which I'm not, I'm not going to be getting into. This is one for adding... Um, so basically just add makes it... Oh, it's creative, can't do that one. Where am I? What am I talking about next? What else have we got in here? Bomb casing. I'm not dropping bombs. That's good. It's not P P P PVP. So fuel. We don't need that if we've got this one because it's used for all engine upgrades. Um, some of the uses that one. So as you can see, these these increase each time, and you start off with iron, gold, diamond, em emeralds, and eyes of ender. Interesting, like because the hard bits in this pack are diamonds and, and maybe emeralds. We can get emeralds for villages, which isn't so bad, but diamonds are a tough one. <laughs> you got to go finding diamonds. And I think that's it for this episode. So I wish you all the best. We, um, I, the bee won't have finished breeding, so we'll see that next time. So until then, bye for now.